J rename command CA workflow automation CA7 edition 12.0. Beginning with CA Workflow Automation CA7 Edition 12.0, a job rename can be entered for a single job to change its name and all of its associated job elements. This command generates real-time and permanent results. The command format is J-R-E-N-A-M-E -E for job rename, comma, old job comma new job equals new job one comma update equals yes this is where old job is the job being changed whereas new job one will become the new job name job name is the function there are also keywords to understand q check yes indicates if a job is being renamed is in the request ready or active queue issue an error no indicates that it, if the active workload would not be examined for the old name yes is the default update yes indicates that the database will be updated with the changes no indicates the database would not be updated yes is the default List. Yes indicates to produce a report list of elements change. No indicates the report will not be produced. Now to demonstrate. We begin by issuing the CA7 workflow automation top line job rename command. In this example, we are changing the old job one to new job one and you can see the results. Notice old job one was the original job name and it was changed to new job one. Notes. Multiple job renames can be performed using the C7 batch terminal interface. So you can change multiple job names in the BTI utility. When using the job rename for a large number of jobs, we recommend entering it during a low processing time. This is because of the number of updates that can occur within the database. If the rename job is active in the queues during the rename, once the job completes processing, the definition is not updated. The job rename command does not change pros data. The job rename command does not change JCL PDS members, nor is the member name field updated. The job rename does not change any reference to the target job in the CA workflow automation CA7 edition database output network definitions. For more detailed information about this topic, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product panel. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.